What's going on guys, it's your boy Chili, bringing you another LEGO review. This time, we are doing the LEGO Star Wars set number 75256, Kylo Ren's Shuttle. Super excited about this set, absolutely love it. It is probably my favorite retired uh, LEGO Star Wars set now. Um... This thing is absolutely awesome. Stay tuned for the review of the set to see what I mean. But it is an amazing set. Now, this set has 1,005 pieces. It comes with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, General Pride, a Sith Trooper, First Order Stormtrooper, and two Knights of Ren. So, I, I, I don't know how much this cost when it first came out. Probably being what it is 100 120 maybe i got it for 140 i believe with a decent condition box and everything but to get you know six minifigures for 100 120 i'm gonna guess that's what the price is y'all can let me know down in the uh comments what the price of this was when it originally came out but i love this thing the box art looks pretty good i enjoy I think the box art looks great. I mean, you got like an explosion back here. You got a planet in the back. You got like a bright star. It looks good. Then you got your Lego Star Wars. You got Kylo Ren big up here in the top. You've got that black greebling that matches the ship itself. And then it's shooting some stud shooters and a little laser there. Looks good on the front. It is made, you know, Disney logo at the bottom there. Looks good. Moving to the bottom, this is a 2019 LEGO Star Wars set. Not much else on the bottom of the box. The side of the box has a, another picture of the shuttle. More of that black greebling and the logos as usual. The other side of the box, if you open it up, is going to have where your components are made. The choking hazard warning, the LEGO Life app, and more of the logos. And then the top of the box is going to have more logos, different way to say the set, or different languages to say the set's name, and then the actual size of uh, Kylo Ren. Moving on to the back, you're going to see some of the play features there on how the wings fold up and you know fold out. Gives you a little scene of them inside of a hangar, how the stud shooters fire there, and a and the uh, cockpit opening up. But yeah, guys, so really nice box. Can't wait to get in this set, so let's get right to it. All right, guys, and we are back. As you can see, I got Kylo Ren shuttle set up. Looks amazing. That all black with the red. I don't know how much light is actually on it, but it looks absolutely stunning with all that the black and red color scheme but let's get into these minifigures so first off so zoom in you're gonna have general pride he's in like a gunmetal like colored suit you can kind of see it reflecting there and not much detail to him you know standard hair piece but in gray standard face standard little back face kind of not a very impressive minifigure at all comes with a little like pistol blaster get him out of the way we'll go to the first order stormtrooper it's a stormtrooper i mean it looks good enough decent amount of detail on the front and back the helmet looks good he's got you know just an angry face on him with a longer blaster there getting into the Sif Trooper. It's a Stormtrooper in red. A little bit more detail. You can see there's some detailing in the little in the black of the face. A little bit of different detailing in the legs there. And on the back, he's got a blaster with what looks like a scope on it. And same face, nothing on the back. Then you get into the first of the two Knights of Ren. He comes with like this Hellbird, I think is Hellbird, I think is what they call it. Um, like axe type thing. Decent amount of detail on his front with the robes and all. He's got that new hood piece. 
or new wear hood piece. He's got the old cape. It has a little bit of dirt on it. Nice little face print. The hood does come off. Nice little face print. Gunmetal head. Nothing on the back. And I think he did have back print. But you can't see it because of the cape. There you go. So there's your first of two Knights of Ren. And then we're going to get into Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So he's got the damaged helmet. He's got nice gunmetal gray printing on his front. His lightsaber has the black hilt with the, the cross shape on it to make the little cross guard there. And his back print is very much the same as the front in that gunmetal gray. He's got the harder cape on, not the soft cape. Taking his mask off, he did not come with another hair piece. He's got the scar from the first movie, I think. They even gave him that little mole that he has, if it'll focus. Gave him that little mole, and the back face is a meaner face. There you go. So, there's Kylo Ren. And then you get to your second Knight, or, uh, Knight of Ren. So, looks a little bit better. He's got like thermal detonators on his chest. Got this big mace club, has a helmet that looks really nice. I believe he just has like a black head, no special face printing or anything. And it goes down into leg print, waist print. He does have a nice back print and it comes with a thermal detonator. So that's all the minifigs for the set. Now getting into the, the shuttle here, it is a nice build. Like I love this thing. It is wonderful. Like, the wings look good. The front looks good. I absolutely love this thing. I wish they... Actually, I want to get the older one. But I wish they'd come out with a newer one of these, too. Maybe update it just a little bit further. You know, I mean, it came out three, four years ago. Something like that. But it still holds up to, the, to this day. Which is probably why they won't make one. But... It's still a nice, nice Lego set. Like, I absolutely love this set, guys. So, the front here, you're going to have, like, the red little windshield piece there. You got some stud shooters, some lights, some laser cannons on the side. You got the wings, of course, with some more, like, red lights up top. Moving on to the back, you're going to have two thrusters using orange little um, radar pieces for the, the thrust. Got some more red lights back here. You've got these two things, which I'll show you what they do in a minute. And on the inside of the wings, you can fold them out there. Not much to talk about there as far as detailing. You got some, um, I can't think of the word now. Griebling? Griebling, I think is what it is. On the top shot side of the um, ship of the shuttle. There we go. Couldn't think of the word. On the bottom, not much going on there. You've got your stud shooters here. These little mechanisms will fire the stud shooter. You just push it in and it pushes this piece down. If you can see right there, fires the stud shooter. So second one there and it just fires the stud shooters. Moving on to the interior, the piece here just it has a little um joint piece but i can't get my hands around you can just lift it from the side and lift it up you have a nice little interior here it's got some printed control panels got a couple like seats that you can fit uh kylo ren and two knights of ren in it has places to put your stud shooter things or to put lightsabers or knights the knights of ren's weapons the inside here, I believe it pushes, is it pushing? Pushes one way. Oh, I just broke the front of the ship off because I was trying to figure out how to do something else. There's a piece in there that you, there it goes. You pop down, now you've got the little um, docking ramp there. I guess if y'all can't see that, but you got your little docking ramp there. Just push it back up and it 
it's really actually kind of tight in there that's why i broke a piece off trying to get to it um but yeah that's the interior of the ship that's it i mean kind of a small deal right the magnificent thing about this is when you come to back here these two little deals will spin and as you can see what they do they raise the wings up and they lock into place down here and now you've got the let me move the camera up so you can actually see it i can't even get it all the way in frame because the wings are absolutely humongous but they do fold out like so mine just kind of fold out by themselves so you can see just how long that wing is like i mean that's like my forearm <laughs> it's it's a huge wing and i didn't lock that one in all the way but but the deal with the wings unfolding is back here I believe it's this one you're supposed to be able to twist one of these and it folds the wings out as you can see but when i pick mine up 90% of the time, the wings just kind of fold them out. I don't know if I built it wrong or if that was just an issue with the set to begin with. But you're supposed to be able to turn this little thruster here that you can see me turning. And it's supposed to in and out, in and out, in and out. Now to fold the wings down is pretty simple too. You just pop those two pieces out. They are connected by two little hinges there. I believe y'all should be able to see them right there. And then you just you just uh, zoom y'all back out so you can see. You just twist them, and they fold back down, and they don't really lock back into place. They kind of just, unless they're supposed to, and I just did it wrong again. It could have been user error, but it is a really nice build, guys. I love this thing. I kind of want to get the old one now so that I can compare them. The old like gray all gray one just so i can compare them but i absolutely love this build um yeah let me know what you guys think about this build down in the comments i'm gonna get out of here wanted this one to be kind of a shorter video there's not a lot to talk about with this except for you know the play features mainly and the look the style of it looks really good so i'm gonna get out of here um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this build too or if you like the old one better. And consider subscribing if you're new to the channel so you can catch more LEGO content. And I will catch you guys on the next one.